guys welcome back to my channel Shanice here so in today's video we're going to be taking that closure unit we made from last week and we're going to turn it into BAM this <laughs> so some aluminum foil a bowl to mix some developer bleaching powder some rubber bands gloves and some silicone mix we're also going to use our Tresemme shampoo and conditioner Shimmer, shimmer lights shampoo and that's it okay so here we're gonna start first by sectioning off our front piece which is what's going to be the lightest part in, in our face once we do that um, I just pulled the rest of the hair back into two ponytails and made sure that they're both equal in like the same length same close to the same amount of hair and that the ponytails are also the same length as well Okay, so from there, you're just gonna make sure developer and bleach. There's, you just kinda eyeball it. Well, that's what I do until I get the consistency I want, which is this. And then you're just going to paint it onto the hair. I do it in downward motion so there won't be any harsh lines. And just work it all throughout the hair. I didn't do it close to the scalp because I wanted that natural color to still be there. I didn't want the blonde coming directly out of the closure. I don't like how that looks. But <laughs> yeah, just work it through the hair to make sure it gets all over it, all through it. There's no patchiness or nothing. Then you're going to grab a sheet of aluminum foil and wrap it around the piece of hair so that it can process faster. So now that we got the two lightest pieces in the front, we're gonna move to the ends so that they're processing at the same time, kind of. So use the same downward kind of um, technique in working the hair towards the ends of the hair because that's gonna be the lightest. And you just move up until we mark our destination of where the lightest of the hair is gonna stop at. Um, I kind of do that jagged thing just so that it flows easily into the next um, batch. And yeah. Okay, so this is where we're gonna kind of stop going higher because that's where the lightest of the hair is gonna meet. And then you're just gonna wrap it in aluminum foil, wait five minutes, and then come back and check the hair. You're gonna always want to check the hair because you don't want it to over process or um, get lighter than what you want. So as you can see, it had started to get lighter. It got to that brown, but I wanted it to get to at least some type of blonde before I started on the next section. So after checking all the hair and seeing that it didn't get anywhere near to the blonde I wanted, I waited another five minutes. So a total of 10 minutes before I removed the aluminum foil from the two ponytail holders and went back and started to um, bleach the next section. Now, as a heads up, I would suggest not leaving those ponytail holders there once you get to um, the second portion of bleaching because it will leave like a line of demarcation unless you like stop it stop going up with the natural flowing of the brush right before the ponytail holder because otherwise that line will still kind of be there you guys will see in the next clip so while this sec this section of the hair started to bleach i went in and started the highlights so basically i just went in the a little bit behind the front streaks and I did like this little up and downward little motion thingy to section out a couple of hairs that I would like to highlight and then I put them apart combed through it and then grabbed the sheet of aluminum foil bleached it and closed it up and wrapped it so I did that a total of three times around the crown of my head
So I let all of this process for about 10 more minutes before I decided to wash it out. Um, it could have stayed in there longer, honestly, but I got scared. I didn't know what was going to happen because I never bleach the actual hair before. I'm used to only bleaching like the knots on the closure or frontal. So this was my first time doing this. So I didn't want to mess my hair up. <laughs> so I just rinsed out the bleach with um, warm water. And then I had some other water boiling so I can... Um, rinse it with the shimmer light shampoo so I just mixed in some cold water because the water was hot got that purple water going and then I just let the hair sit in there for I think like five minutes it wasn't long So after letting the hair sit in the shimmer lights, I detangled it and broke the shimmer light shampoo through the wig a bit more. And then after doing that, I washed it out with some cold water, detangled it a bit more just to make sure it was getting all of those knots out because that always makes the wash process harder. But surprisingly, it wasn't knotting up like that. Um, just a couple strands. So next, I just broke the Tresemme shampoo through the hair, washed it really good, and then did the same with the conditioner. Now with the conditioner, I let that sit, let the hair sit in the Tresemme conditioner for about 15 minutes in a plastic bag after I put it in the microwave. So kind of like a mini deep condition. And then I rinsed that out with cold water. Make sure to really get that conditioner onto the ends too because we don't need dry ends, sis. Okay, so once I rinsed out the conditioner, I let the hair air dry outside and this is how it turned out and I did not like it. Um, it wasn't light enough and like in the back you can see the line of where I had the ponytail holder. It just to me didn't flow correctly. So I got this idea of putting the shimmer lights in with the developer and bleach and mixing that together which got that consistency and that shade. And then I just went over the ends and that second section again along with the the front of the hair and I kind of just did it crazy like I went up a little bit more just so it can flow more natural and then I kind of put more little highlights randomly in the hair as well I forgot to mention this, but the purpose of putting the shimmer lights, some of the shimmer light shampoo into the mixture of the bleach and developer is to help pull some of that um, bronzy shade out of the bleached ends because that was the purpose of me sitting it into the, the purple water, but it didn't really do much. So I figured if I put it into the mixture, maybe it'll pull some out and y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see. <laughs> So I let that coat sit in the hair for about 15 minutes and then I rinsed it out and I washed the hair with that neutralizing shampoo that I got from Sally's a while ago. I don't know what made me use it, but I figured it'd do some hair some good because that was my second time processing the hair. So after that, I went in again with the same Tresemme conditioner and then I got the silicone mix, worked it through the hair and I let that sit in the hair for about an hour. Yeah, an hour. This was all of the shedding I got from detangling the hair while rinsing it out after bleaching it for both processes, y'all. So I was shocked. That's not a lot of shed hair, like at all. And boom, this is how the hair turned out. So all I did was curl it a bit and put some flexi rods in it overnight. Kind of fixed my closure. <laughs> 
I didn't really have the energy in it. I just gave it what I could give it because it's final season and your girl is tired, okay? So, um, yeah, flexi rotted it, took it out the next day. The hair is still soft. The ends are perfect, y'all. But yeah, this is the end result. I love it. I hope you guys find this useful. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more. See y'all later. Bye. <laughs>